name is Lucio Simone. I'm the engineering manager for BC Group. And in this video, we'll be demonstrating the cardiac output simulation using an NIVP 1040. In this case, we have the MCO 2100 that comes with the NABP 1040 simulator. The MCO is plugged into the temperature port of the NABP 1040. And we also have two cables that are used for temperature simulation. The first is the injectate temperature that's connected here and adjusted with the potentiometer knob uh, on this side. Over here is the actual catheter and this measures the blood pressure, the blood temperature that is actually at the outlet uh, output of the heart. So we'll go in with the screen button and press down button until we get all the way to cardiac output simulation. In this case we have the injectate set to zero degrees C. So we need to make sure that the monitor is also measuring zero degrees C for the injectate temperature. So what we'll do is we'll go to the cardiac output screen on the monitor, in this case a Mindray PM9000. And this gives us an indication of the injectate temperature here. It thinks that it's 8 degrees. That's what it's measuring off of this probe and this simulation. So we have to make sure that the injectate temperature we have set on the 1040 matches what's measured on the monitor. So we will adjust the potentiometer until we get zero degrees that will match our NABP 1040 setting. And if we go too far, it doesn't like it. So we have to make sure that's right on. Zero degrees there. And now we can start the simulation by pressing the reset button. And we have to start the monitor first so that it's ready for the measurement. Now we start this simulator and it will display the change in temperature as the simulation is run. In this case we had 2.5 liters per minute selected on the NABP 1040 and the monitor should come up with a similar measurement. And we got 2.49 on the monitor. We can change uh, the rate, flow rate, and the injectate temperature on the NABP 1040 using the select and the up down arrows. In this case, we're going to go for a 5 liter per minute injection. And again, we start the monitor first so that it's ready and monitoring the input. And we start the simulation. The monitor will read the pressure or read the simulated temperature and provide a measurement of the flow rate. In this case we got 5.14. We would check that against our service manual to make sure that that is within the calibration of the monitor. That concludes the features and functions of the cardiac output simulation using the NIBP 1040. For more videos or information about BC Group products, please visit us on the web at bcgroupstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like further information, please contact us at 800 242 8428 or for international calls. Be sure and dial the plus one for the U.S. 314-638-3800. Or you can email us at sales at bcgroupintl.com. For more information about our extensive line of BC biomedical products and other vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace located at bcgroupstore.com.